Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September new love tower reading. So Aquarius, looking at new love, this could be uh, someone totally new coming into your life. It could be someone you're newly dating, getting to know them. It could be a crush. It could be a missed opportunity from the past. Also could be somebody that you know but never ever been romantically involved with. All right, Aquarius, it's not about exes. It's not about someone you've already had some sort of romantic relationship with. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Aquarius, we have the crystal angels here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. All right, welcome in, Aquarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. September New Love Tower Reading. Let's see. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Topaz, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Okay. Self-confidence through God. Confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. And control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So what I feel like here, Aquarius, this definitely could be your energy that there's a lot of fear here about getting into new relationships. Definitely you could have been involved with someone from the past, had a lot of control issues, but it's saying here, you know, be gentle with yourself for, you know, forgiving, healing, releasing, um, and having that confidence through yourself, through the universe, you know, washing away those fears about control issues. And, you know, just seeing where things can go. We do have pink here, which definitely is new love for me. So for some of you, I feel like this is about someone totally new coming into your life, whether you just, just met them or they yet have yet to enter your life. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. All right, Aquarius. So we have the Thelema Tarot here. And we're going to see what's going on. And then we're going to close it out with some magical unicorn oracle cards as well. All right, what does all this mean for Aquarius, September, new love, tower reading? All right, Aquarius, so what does this mean for you? What does this mean for you? What do we need to know? Let's see. Five of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. That's Aquarius right there. King of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, the Sun, very healing, happy energy here, and the Three of Wands. So this could be someone coming into your life very, very soon, if not already. Um, I do feel like for some of you, this is someone new um, that you've been dating, maybe a couple of dates, two or three dates you've been on. <clears throat> but the Five of Cups reverse is saying, you know, overcoming the sadness, loss, fear, doubts, insecurities. And the Knight of Swords like takes action without overthinking, without delay, just very fast paced moving energy. But I also feel with this Three of Pentacles that is about growth, expansion, building and rebuilding. Definitely taking time to do that. But also it could be, you know, to take action on this connection, whether it's new, is there someone new coming into your life? So the, the energy here is to take action, you know, just to take action on it with the Knight of Swords, but also a feeling being a little cautious, careful, building slowly, taking our time, not rushing with the Three of Pentacles. But I do see a very stable ground energy here with the King of Pentacles, which is really, really good. A lot of enlightenment, healing, uh, happiness, joy, love and light, sun, everything positive. And if it's not happening now, it could be in the very, very near future with the Three of Wands. That could be like, Three wands, I mean, wands are not as fast as swords. Swords, it could be like three hours, three days. Um, this could be more like three weeks. Wands are more like weeks. But we'll see. We're going to see as we go. It could be by the end of summer, which is just in, let's see, a couple of weeks, too. So let's see. We do have here Aquarius, that's you, and Virgo, and Leo. 
I'm feeling like when this person comes into your life, they could work in finances. Uh, they could be very wealthy, you know, very well off, or have their own business of some kind. And if you have a good feeling about them, it's like, okay, take action on it. But also, you know, it's okay to be cautious. Take your time and not rush because there is a lot of happiness here. So it's like the universe is saying when this person comes, yes, take action, but also be cautious, be smart. You know, take your time. Don't rush as well. All right. So let's see. Yeah, let us see. What else do we need to know about this for Aquarius? So I feel like this is your energy because you came out right there, uh, the Knight of Swords. All right. So tell me more about this. Who is the King of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this for Aquarius? Let's see. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this isn't someone that's going to be lacking or out for money or anything like that. Five of Pentacles reverse. This person is not going to lack for anything, which is kind of good. Justice. They could actually work in the justice system. It's temperance. Oh my God. Two cards of soul contracts, things meant to be, maybe even past lives together. Justice is definitely universal law and order, getting what we deserve. Somebody could be divorced here, whether it was you, we may find out that they have been. Uh, but temperance is divine alignment of soulmates as well. Patience, healing, balance, things meant to be. Knight of Cups, there's romance. There's romance coming in. And the Empress is believing in yourself that you deserve this, getting what you deserve in romance, alignment of something meant to be in a soulmate energy. There's no lack here with the five pentacles reversed. Three of swords. Yeah, there's been a lot of broken heart and disappointment. Two threes here. This definitely could be like three weeks, two to three weeks I'm feeling, but this empress does give birth to new things. The sun definitely can heal disappointments of the past. This is going to be an energy where this person may even make you forget all these bad experiences of the past or help to heal, help you to heal yourself over energies of this as well. So we have Libra, Sag, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Justice also soul contracts, past life, things meant to be, divinely guided energy. But some, someone could also hear work in the justice system. Empress does give me like leadership vibes, business owner, entrepreneur, whether it's you or them. Could be single parents as well. I'm feeling that too. Um, but let's see. What else do we need to know for Aquarius? What else do we need to know here for Aquarius? Let's see. Tell me more about this energy coming in here. Bar. Did I just drop something? Oh, I thought I dropped the card. Oh, well. <laughs> tell me <laughs> more about this for Aquarius. Let's see. A solid offer, Page of Pentacles. Hermit. Very single energy here. This somebody here could own like their own solo, uh, independent business or practice or something like that. Six of Pentacles, balance. That's like the minor of justice, which we have right there. Reciprocity, balance. Ten of Wands, feeling a little worried and weighed down, maybe. Queen of Swords, definitely somebody here could be divorced in the picture, whether it was you or them. That's another, well, that's a Libra for me. I was thinking Aquarius, but that's Libra. But it could be you, Aquarius, as well. Let's see what's on the bottom. Two of Cups reversed. I definitely feel like someone has come from a very broken relationship. So there could be some boundary here, you know, a little bit of a wall, self-protection, nothing wrong with that. Asking all the right questions. And I kind of see this Queen of Swords moving forward, but also in hindsight of the Ten of Wands, remembering all the things that hindered them, brought in them, weighed them down in the past. But the Hermit does go on a solo journey here and does healing, introspection, inner guidance, finding their way, their path, their light. Also a single energy for me. And there is a solid offer here. Kind of, you know, not rushing either. The Hermit is very, you know, if we need to retract a little bit to think about an offer. Because I feel like this person is going to come forward and either ask you out in some way, shape, or form. I feel a really good energy around it, but someone's energy may be a little uh, 
self-protection mode, not just jumping into something right away. So let's see, we do have here Libra, or that could be Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn. Now I'm looking at the Ten of Wands who has the sun just bursting through in the background, which is up there. So, which the sun is the most positive uh, energy in the deck. But let's see. I just see someone looking at this offer very carefully and not rushing. And if someone carrying it there, so it's something that you need to do. Aquarius, if that resonates, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that either. But tell me more. Um, I want to know, like, how are you going to meet this person? Um, you may actually meet them through the justice system in some way, shape, or form. It could be also uh, seeking out professional uh, expertise of some kind or business. Eight of Swords, yeah. There's a little bit of a blocked, stuck energy. I feel more mentally. Five of Swords Reverse is saying there's no sabotage around this. There's no devious ways. There's no ulterior motives. Nothing like that surrounding it, which is good. Strength, but someone not feeling confident. 100%. Seven of Swords. Somebody is worried, again, about being hurt. But the energies here are saying no. And there's that romantic uh, proposal, invitation coming as well. Ten of Cups. Someone is worried about long-term happiness as well. So I definitely am getting all this energy. Somebody is definitely worried here about a romantic proposal, invitation, or interest. Would it be happy in the long run? Ten of Cups in reverse. So someone definitely is worried about long-term happiness, relationship, success, love. Not really feeling 100% confident. There's a lot of worry here. There is a romantic interest that will be expressed or proposed. But somebody may be too up in their head, maybe because of the past. But I am feeling like, you no, know, there could be something really great here, um, Aquarius. We have Leo and Pisces. All right, we're going to pull one more uh, row. Let's see, Aquarius, what else do you need to know about this? Um, again, it's not really telling me, uh, I'm, I feel like business, so it could be like you seek out someone's, uh, business or something like that, or vice versa. All right, so let's see. Okay. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this for Aquarius? In love. Let's see. Two of Pentacles being on the fence. Night of, there's a taking our time, not rushing. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. With the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. It's going to be the crossroads here. Could be very soon. I did say maybe two weeks. Two to three. I'm feeling more like two now. Devil. Yeah, there's a lot of fear, stress, worry, anxiety here. You would want the strength to overcome this. Um... But it's in reverse, so I don't like that. I'm not sure somebody here will be able to overcome their fear and anxiety. Probably stemming from the past. Yeah, the struggle here with the Nine of Wands. But we also have a King of Wands here. Again, this could be somebody who is a leader, business owner, entrepreneur. Someone very creative, fiery, passionate, inspirational, uh, spiritual as well go-getter kind of energy <sighs> somebody's just worried about uh, the past repeating being played being used control you know maybe being controlling just like the devil but i feel like this is someone's own fear and anxiety so someone can let go of that i do see something good here so you have leo capricorn taurus let's see what's on the top of the deck but if it does resonate so far please do like, comment, all the great things be greatly appreciated. Let's see what's on the top. We're going to clarify. Also on the bottom too. Yeah, the moon. Again, fear of going down this path. I don't want to say again because it's a different person. Three of cups. I mean, that may not be having the courage to even start dating. The energy is here for it. So obviously if like you're here, Aquarius, and you're wondering about new love, Definitely there's an interest, but there's still a fear 
about going down that path. Magician in reverse about not manifesting the new beginning. Queen of Cups worried about love, maybe not letting ourselves feel our emotions and fall in love. Death. There's been some hurtful endings here. But that's transformation to beginnings. So let the past transform you and go into the future with a clean heart, clean eyes, clean mindset. Not let the past hinder the future. This is a strong connection that could be had here with the lovers. That's definitely what I feel here. So let's see what's on the bottom. The world, a new cycle ready to begin. Could be something around traveling as well. King of Swords, again, a clear mind. Communication is essential. You know, it's okay to have healthy boundaries as well. We got the King and the Queen of Swords. You may also both have been from situations in the past where maybe you're both divorced from other situations. You may have a lot more in common than you think. But it's going to start with honest communication and conversations and letting ourselves feel love and emotions and feelings. We just to see the queen, but it was in reverse. The tower is the big shift, the wake up call, change, surprise. Six of cups, yeah, a lot of healing from the past. Six of cups, four of swords, being very open, keeping nothing hidden with the high priestess reversed. Putting in the work, letting it grow naturally and slowly. You know, pause, reflection if we have to. But this could lead to the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles next, which is the match to the King. So this could be a real solid match for you. Uh, Aquarius, but it's all about letting it happen. Taking that risk. Honest communication is essential. We have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio here with the world. There's the new cycle. Did I say, say the signs here? Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo. I don't remember if I did. But anyway, let's see what the... Um, before I lose my voice again. What the magical unicorns have to say for Aquarius. Also, everything you need to know, Aquarius, is down below. My playlist is down... My playlist. I keep saying that. <laughs> my website <laughs> has everything you need to know as well as... Everything in the description box. All right. Aquarius. Let's see. What else? You are gifted. This definitely could be a big gift in each other's life. And a relationship to be thankful for. Love heals fear. Yeah, I talked about that. So this could be a love that heals all fear. Oh my God. And then we have love actually popping out. And on the bottom of the deck true true love holy crap, crap true love heals fear a gift to be thankful for right away and having happy thoughts not negative thoughts and letting go of stress wow and seeing the light but it's time to decide i get that too teamwork you may actually work well as a team could be something around pets i mean maybe this person is a vet i don't know or you may just have both have pets. But I do see here uh, letting the walls down and letting this connection just happen. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that that helped, that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.